Hey guys, welcome back on BTVD, and uh, so you're seeing me on a full face cam for a pretty good reason. So, one, I'm in a hurry because I screwed everything up, so there's that. Uh, but you're about to see what happened yesterday on the Cohen because I did sit down to play and my audio was completely messed up. So, uh, <laughs> there's that. So, what happened was we edited um, everything together so that you have an overall understanding of what happened. So we found out who, um, who the person was that was living in the hospital and stealing from the cafeteria. We found my book and got to talk to mom. We saw another appearance of Yami again. And, you know, we found, we got like various keys and stuff like that. And then we actually learned the story of the book, which is uh, about Morazora's forest and adventure. So. There is that. I hope you guys enjoy it. And then I'm going to be tacked on to the same, same time. So today, I'm going to be playing a little bit more. Uh, we're going to try and go a little further where we're going to try and um, look for these secret doors that have something to do with the book. So I hope you enjoy. Um, it's a few minutes long, but it'll catch you up on what happened yesterday. Unfortunately, I can't go back and replay it without completely redoing the story. So. I chose to edit it together anyway, so catch up real quick and I will see you for the next part. Okay? Bye.
Okay guys, well I am back and I have got my mom with me. So she is following me now. And it looks like someone left you a note. Read it? Of course. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as attack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. So it's the riddle that the, uh, what you guys didn't see, is the riddle that the homeless man left me with in order for me not to tell him or tell on him. Figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I hid something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while and maybe you can find it. Uma. Alright, we're great. Um, I don't know why we would go in the bathroom, but there's a mirror in there. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Looks like someone's hidden something behind the mirror. Look at what it is. Of course. Ooh, yay, we found Uma's key. But I wonder if I have to go through all that crap in order to get back to him. I thought we were supposed to, like, you know, look at doors. Or look for secret doors. Like, that was the whole theory. Be nice to your mom. She worked really hard, you know. Of course. Um, and the whole secret door thing I'm talking about is from his book. It was passed down in his family. And um, when you open it, it's supposed to reveal these secret doors. I don't know where we're going. Where am I going? Uh, this little old man. I wonder if we can get him coffee now. Let's try that. So I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. And I kind of wonder if, um... Oh, there's, they still haven't restocked it yet. I kind of wonder if, um, Mom is more of like a help system. Now where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Great, you dropped a key. Is this nurse still on break? She went on break and like never came back. It's different. Let's talk to everybody. Now that I have my mom with me, I want to see what they say. Hello, small child. What brings you to my station? Uh, what's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? So we, we did hear this one before. Uh, right. Uh, did you hear about the thief? I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about the hospital? Hmm. Not really. He started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room. I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. So we've already done all that. Alright, gotta go. <laughs> Where are we going? Ooh, sorry guys, dealing with bronchitis. That's that's official, totally official. Uh, open the cabinet. Yes, laminated card. Sure, I forget what it says. Two nine five four, which we knew that, but at least they leave it for you. Um, I don't think I need anything over there because we've already turned on everything. Oh, not where I wanted to go. Alrighty. You know what? Not that important. Let's go here then. Okay, so all my doors are open. I don't know what I need a key for. That's the weird part. Like, I'm just showing up here even though I'm not really supposed to be here. He left crap like everywhere. Bento lunches. That must be a chart. Attention all hospital staff urgent. Please begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor. I can't go that way, huh? Oh, there is a door. Ha! I didn't see that before. This creeps me out on like a crazy level. What the Oh. It's it's my room. We're going back. I, I have more investigating to do. This is crazy. He's got some wine up in here. Whoa. This must be one of the one of the things, yeah, he's like, Mom, where are we? I'm not sure. Holy crap. Uh, can I go over here? The 
This is so strange. This must be part of the book. Mom, the recording key. Oh, there, there goes the key. It's floating away. Cool. Cool. C can I click it? Can, can I do something with it? See, I told you we were going to do something interesting today. Cool, it opened a door. This is awesome. Go, man. Mom. <laughs> and she's like, I got nothing. I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Ah. Even to Morazora, which, uh, and because I forgot to um, mention this, Morazora is like a, I don't want to say superhuman, but almost like a god, and he will grant a wish. So, he's the boy is searching for a wish. <coughs> All right, guys. <coughs> so she's saying yes if that's where you want to go. Can we go together? Of course. Cool. I was. I'm glad she's not like leaving him there to do it on his own. Alrighty. Oh, that's awesome. So now, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, this is cool. Lebel villager. What in the world? Oh my God, they're adorable. Look at those ears. How did you get in here? We just came through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. Oh, they can't see it. Yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. I, I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them? I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Morazor's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then. I guess you could say that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah, I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rakuin? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It's hard to breathe. The more excited I get, the harder it is to breathe. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian, Morzora. Ah, Morzora. He lives in a cave just northwest of the village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyway, this is the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Stop talking about me. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails. Hush, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or about their backs. <laughs> hey. Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it is all. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, I don't know what to look at, to be honest. <laughs> Might as well look at this, this small fragrant flower. A note next to the tray reads, Panky Sila Berry Donuts. Chef Panky banked, the, banked those. His donuts are the best. That name sounds familiar. What is this? We'll find it. We're leaving. So we'll check out one more area and then I probably have to go. Whoa. They're so cute. Chief, well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Morazor's forest. Uh, it's kind of rude to be like, what are you? Uh, excuse me, I'm a Liebel, of course. Cats walk on all fours and can't talk. What are you? A human? <laughs> human? Is that anything like a horse? Well, all creatures are welcome here in Liebel Village, so free feel free to make yourself at home. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Tony the bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. Well, might as well talk to everybody. 
I got the bug, the travel bug. I can't sit still, I'm so restless. I want to travel the world. I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Winston's a carpenter, Lebel, who lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for a sick wife ever since he came to this forest. We don't really know what happened to her. Oh, interesting. Oh, jeez. We went down in the well. I'm not so sure I like that. What the hell? I guess we're going. Can I jump? Ooh. Why can't you jump to those? I'm very confused. Um, does it make any sense? Why can't you jump to those? Oh, okay. There we go. That was ass backwards. I found some money because it's totally what I needed right now. Uh, up here, up here, up there. How do I get up there? Can I just jump from here? From here to here. Nope. Oh, it did work. Okay. Uh, they're probably gonna kill me. They're like llama worms. Nobody's home. <laughs> Okay. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. Great. I still haven't found the tools that I need. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Back upstairs. <laughs> uh. Oh, apparently we're just going in everybody's house. Cool. It's like the Smurfs. In a way. No, it's Pinky. If you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare not much time to do it. Wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? He's just all over the place. Well, peace out then. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to stop right there. We've looked around a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys are... <laughs> hopefully you guys are caught up now a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. If you like it, go ahead and hit the button, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another section, and we'll explore even further. So, thank you guys so much for putting up with me, and as always, thanks for joining the universe. Bye!